yada, yada. Like I wouldn't have read that and understood what the implications of that would have been. Uh, and but it is it is interesting. Had he known what the implications of that would have been, had the soft known what the implications of that TCTO would have been, I think certainly they would have made a different decision. I think like, hey, if he ejects, you know, under a certain amount of thousands of feet, like he's not the thing's probably not going to work or it could not work. And so he's going to have to have time to pull it. If the soft would have had that information and the mishap element lead and measure, like they the plan would have been different. So I, again, I'm not saying that he should have, like, I mean, it should have made that very clear or anything. Like maybe that's not a realistic expectation, but it is important to realize that, that again, there was a piece of vital information that was not, that was not understood by the, the people who it impacted. Yeah. I think you make a good point, right? I mean, there's so many, you know, on the pilot side, right? 50,000 pages, right? That's a guess, but that's probably realistic as far as information you have to know the maintenance side of the house, like, probably magnify that, you know, by 10 when it comes to figuring out all the different parts and pieces. And there's just so many moving pieces of it. Um, and I know like looking at the forms, right? Like I would walk up the crew chief, like good jet. Right. And like, I'm really looking at inspections, tires, like cursory stuff. Right. Cause it, if it is typed and written in there and the forms are, it's a, that's what you go through before you accept the jet to hop in and go fly. Uh, if it is typed in there, right. Like I know other people have looked at it and like, this thing is good. So I'm really looking at you know, expiration dates and things like that. I don't know if I had seen the digital recovery sequencer, whatever, you know, push to whatever date, like I would not have thought, I would not have given it another thought whatsoever. But that is a good point. Like what if you had, if you had that bit of information, it definitely would have changed my calculus stepping out the door and knowing that. And, you know, in fact, you know, they had one other failure that they mentioned the AIB, the Tulsa IP, who was at altitude super experienced guy and it still took him like five seconds to do the manual override handle and get man seat separation. Now Mezzer had no chance whatsoever. Like there've been no chance for any, any pilot. I think it said it like three and a half, 3.67 seconds is what he had to recognize the failure, pull the handle and to get a shoot. I, there's no way. I, I mean, I would be able to do it and I would argue that probably any F-16 pilot or any fighter pilot for that matter, if they were put in that same scenario, would have thought to reach down and pull that handle at that point. I don't yeah, I mean, I don't think so. I certainly know I wouldn't have. And that it reminds me of the, there was an F-35 mishap at, uh, in Florida where he ejected on, pretty much on the runway after the landing, the aircraft became un, uncontrollable. Uh, so he ejected from the ground basically. And when he described his ejection, he even says like, I don't, he doesn't remember pulling the handle. He doesn't remember anything except for he's on the ground after it's all done and his helmet's gone or something. And, you know, he's like, he thought like, Oh, like I just like, this is what death is, you know, but anyway, so I'm saying like, that was probably a seven to eight second or who knows, maybe it was 15 seconds from him pulling the handle to getting on the ground and, and he had no, you know, recollection or, or yeah. he could, we're ever going through any thought process so again like you said like three seconds <clears throat> yeah sure it's like doable uh if you say it like that but <clears throat> it is not executionable or executable i should say right you gotta be uh, and know it's gonna happen well, i mean yeah it's, it's yeah, oh, yeah exactly. it would take me two seconds prior to like think like where is this handle <laughs> you know i would start like, i'd pull the green ring probably have a like i'd get the emergency oxygen accidentally before i actually got to the override handles and but it, i'm like in my mind i'm like crap i i need to study the f-35 seat <laughs> like yeah. who knows what i would do in an f-35 seat i'd probably freaking throw i don't even know what switches are on the thing so <laughs> just going on to do right yeah gosh yeah this is a tough one 